Yo, 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 what is up for another episode of Flip Your 20 Friday? Yet another car edition, but in the driver's seat. I wish you could see behind the scenes. I got a Kleenex box and the phone balancing on my steering wheel, <laughs> but I'm parked, so it's fine. All right, as per usual, YouTube, like, share, subscribe. We are coming down the last two and a half months of our Monday with Molly's and Flip Your 20 Fridays, if they're helping you and the people you care about, please go ahead, share, like, subscribe. That's the whole purpose of doing them in the first place. All right, so today's video <clears throat> is called 2020 in one word or gif, but the positive version. So let me reword that. 2020 in one positive word or gif, or gif, whatever you call it. So here's where I got this idea from. Someone that I follow on YouTube or on uh, Facebook had posted this, um, had posted something that said, in 10 years, how will you explain 2020 in one GIF? And I was like, that's awesome. So I used it this morning. I run a women's group on Facebook. So I posted it and oh my gosh, they were so funny. They were so funny. Of course, most of them were... I'll just say like negative, like in terms of like there was, <laughs> they were so good. One was uh, a dump, literally a dumpster on fire getting washed away in like a flood. One was a person trying to explain it and they were like this, like, like you can't even explain it. And another one I think was like an animal with like a, like a bag or a box over his head, its head. And it kept like running into a wall and there were so many. And, you know, basically saying it's, it's been a hot mess. And then one of my friends had posted something, one of those, and she also posted something positive. And I was like, that's awesome. And then I saw on her personal page, this is a shout out to you, Megan, on her personal page, she said, hey, I know we can all think of all the things that went wrong in 2020, why it's bad and blah, blah, blah. But what are some of the good things? And she listed a bunch of really positive things for her family. And I was like, I love that. So that got me thinking about this video today. And as we know, it's Flipper 20 Friday and we have to be willing to see things from another perspective and where your focus goes, your energy flows. So if we only focus on the negative, <laughs> that's just gonna be a rough existence. And again, it never means, oh, so what Molly? So we should just pretend we're not in the pandemic or all? No, no. If you've been following me or you know me in any capacity, that's never what I'm saying. I'm not saying dig your, put your head in the sand and pretend it's like rainbows, kittens, and unicorns. Not at all. Yes, we're still in, this, in the pandemic and there's so much stuff going on right now. So yes, and you can also flip your 20 and also choose to see some positive things or optimistic things or productive things or useful things that came out of it. So that's where this leads to. I know you can't put a reply underneath with a GIF, but just think of it for yourself. What are some positive things that have come out of it? Because if I, I know for me, if I only focus on, well, I can't travel and speak in person, that's going to be miserable. And yes, I've had my moments of being really sad about it, but I'm truly grateful to be able to still do my job virtually. That's been a good thing. Now, from, from now on, I can offer clients virtual or in person. Great. That's great for everybody. Other positive things that I would that I've taken out of it are I have been able to explore so many new parks. So so the word I would use would would be uh, adventure. I've been able to go um, with a, a newer friend at the beginning of the pandemic who we're now closer friends now. We went out on adventure and found all kinds of new trails and parks. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that. You see me saying, get lost and hugging a tree. That's been a wonderful thing with the pandemic, exploring my area more with different trails. Another uh, really positive thing for me has been I've had a few friendships that have really grown uh, deeper or have more substance to them than before the pandemic. And it was because of the pandemic that, that, that those relationships deepened. I'm really grateful for that. And I'll give you one more example, right? So maybe that gift would be like, you know, hugging a friend or something. And then the other one too is maybe the gift would be like a person drawing like a, a, a box around themselves or a square around themselves in the ground. 
because for me, one of the other positive things has been setting better boundaries. And I just did a video recently on boundaries. I, where I live by myself, I travel by myself. So when I come home, typically in the before times, I love just being by myself and it's quiet and I get to recu recuperate from all the energy I give when I'm doing my presentations. But now being home and being, you know, I mean, I work out with friends and I still see friends, but it's not the same. You would think, or I would have thought, I would want to be spending every minute with friends. I've learned that I'm a little more of an introvert than I thought. And I'm totally extroverted. But it's a good balance with it Be I need, I just need my time. Totally need my time. So I built better boundaries around my time, my space, and my energy. For the people in the back. This is my car. For the people in the back. It's just tires and dumbbells and jump ropes back there. There's nobody in the back. That would be weird. What if I was like, for the people in the back, and like somebody popped up? That would make me be like a murderer or something. Like that'd be my, like a dateline. I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. So, but for me, protecting my energy, having boundaries around my energy and not being everyone or anyone, frankly, back and call or they need me or they want, they, no. So those are three things I'm really grateful for, and those would be my gifts. Uh, or, or a word, like, I'd show a forest, I would show friends hugging, and I would show a person, like, drawing maybe a box or a boundary around themselves. So for you, because this isn't going to be over anytime soon-ish, I mean, this whole school year is going to be wild. So for you, what would be a couple of optimistic or productive or positive things that came out of the pandemic for you? I know some people really took charge of their health, some of my friends. Some have a uh, deeper relationship with their kids, which is impressive with all the remote learning. Some people I know have been really good. They're not yeah, I'm going out to eat as much, so they've used that money to pay down debt. What is it for you? There's plenty of things to focus on that, are, that, are, that stink, that aren't fair, all of it. Yep, 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 yep. And there are plenty of things to focus on that went well. So that's my challenge to you this week, is to flip your 20 on what you're choosing to focus on. Again, if you want to comment below with what some of those productive things are, that would be awesome. You can text me, DM me, however we, however we normally engage. I would love to see those, because we need, especially with winter coming, we need, we need to really kind of build our reservoir of optimism and hope um, to, to get, you know, to go through winter, which I happen to love. I'll be out playing in the snow. But I know everyone doesn't feel the same way. All right, that's what I have for you today. Uh, it's cold, a little chilly today, rainy, but I got the workout in anyway. I'm feeling, I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. All right, I hope that helps you and the people you care about. Share it out, like it, subscribe, and I will see you in a couple of days for the next Monday with Molly. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Flip your 20. Peace.